What is up, everyone? I'm super excited. This is a, a video that's been long overdue. We're here today joined by Ashley Weston, celebrity menswear stylist. So all you guys out there that follow me, we've been talking about fashion for a long time. I have an expert here today. <laughs> so we can, we can settle these questions that I kind of didn't want to jump into. So we have her and I'm so excited. I'm really excited to be talking about this topic because I know my audience has been asking me about this, to do a video about this for a long time now. And I have clients, I, I sell actors, musicians, CEOs. I have clients that are muscular and quite athletic. Um, some of them are built like football players. Some of them have to look like superheroes. And so I definitely know just having to go source clothes that fit them, the challenges yes. that their body type presents. So I'm really excited to at least share some of my insight it's for you all to be able to Dress for your body type, have it complement your frame, and show off what you've worked so hard to achieve. So, so needed in our day and age, guys. It's been long overdue. You got it. I'm so, it's so excited. Like, I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking, I need to be taking notes as well. So <laughs> grab your, uh, your notepad, and we're going to jump into this. Working out, obviously, get big, get muscular, we want that. But with that comes a lot of issues. How, how do we work around these issues? I know. Well, I'm sure you face this. So especially when you're bigger up top, finding shirts that fit not only your arms, your chest, your shoulders, your upper body, but then tapering down. Yes. Because oftentimes, if, especially if you're really muscular, your drop to your waist, from your shoulders to your waist, is pretty significant. That so, taper. <laughs> gotta gotta I, have that knee taper. Yeah, and the, and the worst thing you could do is just hide it with all of this cloth around your stomach area. And then you just look really boxy, big up top, but then really boxy everywhere else. And that's not sexy and that's not that's not going to complement your body frame. And I'm sure you've probably experienced issues with pants, right? Oh, pants, honestly, everything. Pants being one that I get asked about a lot. Myself, always having big quads from my days of playing football, lifting. I feel like I can never, like, normal pants become skinny jeans on me. So um, I, I know that that's an area that we definitely will talk about. Yeah, I mean, some of my clients, they have very muscular thighs, but also like a muscular butt. But yeah. then their, um, their waist is still really small. So then it's like you have the puckering issue where it like the jeans or your pants kind of like, they, they don't sit flat against your waist because they're, you're fitting it for your butt and your thighs. Yep. Or even, I'm sure, I don't know if you have this issue, if you've seen it or your audience has discussed it, but with your calves. Yeah. Finding pants that fit your calves as well. So it's like all these little things that you kind of have to, you know, look out for and dress for and make sure that your clothes fit those areas I know are big challenges. And so... I mean, I think we should get into how do we fix this? Right. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of just off the shelf options. I no. feel like you know with with you know when I shop, I find a lot of things are tailored towards more of that streamlined physique. And the like you said, the worst thing, the last thing that you want to do is spend all of these hours in the gym working out. And then when you're walking around on the street, people just don't see it because everything's, you just have to wear baggy clothes. What a shame. And I, yes, and I know back in, you know, in the, in the 90s, bodybuilders just, that's like, you know, that's how you kind of spotted a bodybuilder. Oh, he's wearing his baggy pants and his baggy shirt. Like, you didn't see these physiques. If you're working for it, might as well show it off. Agreed. So I'm really excited. I want to get into it. But your problems are not unique, I would say, because every guy has their own set of issues, their own set of fit issues and how to choose clothes to complement their body frame, whether you're skinny or you have a little bit of problem, like little problem areas here and there, or you're really muscular. Everyone has a different set of issues. So let's address your set of issues and how to dress for it and play up all of your assets. I like it. Let's do it. So, Ash. Yeah. We work on our, our pecs, we work on, you know, the arms. How is it, you know, you're, that we find, or what should we look out for? The, the traps and everything? Because, yeah. like I said, I, I've worn some, looking back into old pictures, yeah, I would be so embarrassed if we found them. But, yeah, what, what are kind of the things that you tell your clients? Okay, so first and foremost, if you are muscular, you have a build like yourself, then I always say your asset, the biggest thing that you want to do with your clothes is to play up your upper body. Play up your arms, your shoulders, your chest. That's the area that we want to really highlight because that's that's what is like what you've worked so hard for mm -hmm. and what is going to make you look amazing in your clothes. So first off with your shirts, you want to start and make sure that your shirts fit your chest and your arms. 
First and foremost, so generally you want to um, focus on, a lot of brands offer athletic fits, which are just a little bit roomier in your chest and your shoulders and your arm area, but they still taper almost like a slim fit. Yep. But I always say, I always recommend still looking at slim fit clothes. I think a lot of men who are really muscular, they tend to think that um, they have to look at regular fits because that's what's going to give them the room up top. And that, I would say, is couldn't be further from the truth ah. because it's going to be really roomy, too roomy, in the stomach area. So focus on slim fit um, as well as athletic fit and fit for your chest, your upper chest area because everything else can be taken in and can be altered inexpensively and easily. That chest area, they can't, you can't really do much about that. So find no. an area that has yes. a chest Yes, so you, you want to avoid okay. with your t-shirts, polo shirts, your dress shirts, avoid any kind of pulling in the chest. Gotcha. If it's pulling, like you'll see it, it wrinkles in the armpit areas, that means it's pulling too tight. Um, so you want to avoid that. What I have to say with shirting though, what looks amazing on a build that is muscular are V-neck shirts mm -hmm. as well as crew necks. Yeah, they're great, yeah. but V-necks as, and polo shirts or, or even dress shirts with the buttons undone. Okay. That, How so, many buttons are we talking? Okay. So with a polo shirt, generally there are about three button polo shirts. So you only want to do the top two, undo the top two. Okay. You don't want to do all of it. Yeah. We're not trying to be like real, like <laughs> crazy. Okay. Absolutely right. not. And then with your dress shirts, maybe the top two to three, it just depends on how okay. close the buttons are to the top. So two to three, I would say. How much chest hair you have maybe? Yeah, maybe, too. maybe, you know. But if you create that V mm -hmm. shape up top, it's going to complement your V shape that oh, um, for your upper like torso. That. Yeah. For so, all the angles. But again, I mean, shirting looks fantastic. You could also do crew necks because, I mean, you're, you guys have... Like when you have arms and a chest to fill out a shirt, it looks incredible. But the only thing I will say is if you have more than about two inches, I would say, no more than two inches of fabric that you can pinch on either side of your stomach area, so right around where your belly button is, the side of it, then that means it's too much fabric there. Oh. And what I recommend is to try a couple shirts on. If you're still having that issue, then you want to go find a tailor, which go on Yelp, whatever, go on Yelp, find someone that's highly rated, um, highly reviewed, and go have them take in and taper your shirt all the way down. I think a lot of men are scared, or not so scared, scared yeah. but no, or just, don't want to spend the money or too lazy to taper their shirt. Yeah. But this is the thing. You've worked so hard to get the body shape that you have. Like, why do you want to ruin it with all of this excess fabric at the bottom? Right. Just like, you know, shorter men have to, like, always um, hem their pants or take in you know, shorten their jackets, whatever. Your set of problems is, is that be, this is the price you have to pay for having a really muscular body and a really narrow waist. You just got to take it in. So, so in, so two inches, you said around the, around yeah. the waist, if you can yeah. grab more than two inches. Okay. Yes. And is that a fair, fairly easy thing for a tailor to like, you know, I, very that, easy, very inexpensive. I would say like it's it's one of those things where that's why you want to make sure that the upper part fits mm -hmm. and then you can easily taper it down. But I will say before you take it to your tailor, the shirt to your tailor, you want to make sure to, if, especially if it's a t-shirt or a polo shirt, um, not a dress shirt, but throw it in the wash, cold, gentle cycle, air dry it, and then take it to the tailor yeah. because a lot of times with polo shirts and with t-shirts, they're cotton blends. and, and they usually have not been pre-shrunk, so you want to make sure that it just it has already shrunk to whatever it's going to its final look is going to be, and then alter it. I, I think that that's one thing everyone out there can relate to. You have this <laughs> great fitting shirt, you bring it home, you know, you wash it, you might even dry it. That's one thing that I, I changed my wardrobe big time was when I stopped drying all my clothes and let them air dry, guys. Yes. If you don't have something to let just your clothes air dry, it's a good investment because otherwise you're going to be wasting money with things shrink. So. Yes. So that's what I say for your shirting, how it should fit. As mm -hmm. far as colors, I always opt for solid colors. Be careful with patterns and stripes, um, especially if it's a really tight like stripe, so like micro stripes or a lot of pattern on it because it can actually essentially, it, it can really almost accentuate your body frame in a negative way. Yeah. So be, you want to have the patterns kind of sprinkled in there sparingly, but solid sh colored shirts will always go with the rest of your wardrobe and highlight all of your um, your physique. One question I did have, so yeah. you talked about V-necks. How do you feel about scoop necks? So being in Australia, a lot of scoop necks are there. And, and I've, I've fallen victim to uh, 
the deep, deep V and the deep scoop. I, I know we, I wanted to talk a little bit about that because there is kind of a, I would say a length that you would want that, that V to go to on the V neck. Yeah, so I would say we'll dem demonstrate it. Nothing more than probably here, like mid chest. So almost like, so here are your shoulders. I would say nothing past your armpits. If it's past your armpits, no go. You're going into dangerous territory, cheesy territory right there. So no, it needs to go above that. We'll leave like the DB to, to J-Lo when she's rocking that, <laughs> you know, the green, red, Versace. The green dress. Yes, exactly. So guys, stay away from the deep DB, I think. There you go. All right, now that we have t-shirts out of the way, I want to talk a little bit about sweaters, jackets, because I know as a, as a big guy, things can get bulky pretty fast. Like yes. All of a sudden I leave the house in the wintertime feeling like the marshmallow man. So how do we avoid doing that? <laughs> yeah, so it's really important that for your sweaters that you obviously don't choose something that's super thick because then it's going to bulk you up even more, but not in a flattering way. Mm -hmm. So you want to avoid like a cable knit sweater, you know, those thicker sweaters. A sweater that can actually keep you really warm, but that is pretty thin in material, cashmere and wool blends, those are going to keep you warm and not add a ton of bulk to your frame. And I would say the key thing that you want to do is um, focus on, well, I like V-neck sweaters because again, it simulates, it complements your V frame, mm -hmm. but you can easily do like a crew neck sweatshirt as well. And you want to make sure again, that it fits in your chest area as well as your arms. Your arms, it may be a little snug, mm -hmm. but again, that's just, it's going to highlight and actually complement your, your muscles nicely, as long as it's not pulling in the armpit area. Gotcha. Um, now, if that if it's if it's a little tight, it's fine. Okay. You don't want it super tight. And what that what hopefully that will allow is that you'll have a nice taper down to the sweater. Because again, with sweaters, you don't want a ton of fabric down at yeah. the bottom. And it can can you get sweaters tailored as well? Is um, that something that's it's a, a, really difficult. Okay. So you want to make sure to just try on a bunch of different gotcha. sweater brands, but make sure they're all about sl like slim fits. And if if you have that nice taper in, in the body for the mm -hmm. sweater, but it feels a little snug in the arms, it's all right. Sweaters, the material will stretch. Um, and, and if you don't have any pulling, then it's totally fine. I know some men are like, oh, but I should have a little bit of fabric, you know, around here. But it's for your body frames, yeah. what is nice is when you actually show off and it hugs the muscle a little bit. It looks really strong and really masculine. It looks like a schmedium in the arms, but then it's a normal size on the chest. So I, that's a problem that I sometimes have. I was going to ask you, how do you take care of sweaters? Would you hang them? Would you? Never. Kind of oh my gosh. Never hang sweaters. Only fold your sweaters. If you hang them, the knit is very delicate. So if you hang them, they'll actually start to pull and, and uh, droop down mm -hmm. and you'll ruin the shoulders. So always fold your sweaters. Now, as far as jackets go, because I know you asked me about jackets, the goal is because you're so muscular and I can even see it on you, you guys have larger necks. Um, so the goal is not to hide your neck. So any jacket ah. with a standing collar, like a Harrington jacket, where it has a standing collar, avoid. Because then you're just gonna look like this big meaty mess. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of a lot of no necks yeah, walking around. Yeah, and that's not a good look. So yeah. bomber jackets are yeah. your best friends um, and uh, sport coats, like blazers are also your best friends. Those are the type of jackets that you want to gravitate towards that are going to help break up your body in a complimentary way. So would turtlenecks also be a no-go for bigger guys, would you say? Or I, just be careful with them? Uh, if you don't have too big of a neck, so, so there are some muscular men that don't have a super large neck, so I'd say maybe 16 inches and under. That's the 16 I'm inches, out. yeah. So then you want to avoid um, a turtleneck. Unfortunately, it's just not going to work for you. Yeah. Obviously, you can put a scarf around your neck. You're going to take the scarf off yeah. when you go inside. Like but scarf. Yeah, but a turtleneck, it's just too much. You just start to look really chunky in all the yeah. areas of your body. Oh, yeah. that, that's good information right there. <laughs> I tried to rock a turtleneck last season. Well, <laughs> you got to try. Sometimes yes, it's trial yes. and error, and you won't know until you try it, but I'm just uh, having you guys avoid that mistake and that cost by just telling you up front, if you got a 16-inch neck or larger, avoid a turtleneck. All right, now that we have the top part covered, let's talk a little bit about legs, because that's probably actually one of the most common questions I get. Steve, where do you shop for your jeans? Um, you know, like... People love commenting on the, the skinny jeans because I have, you know, I, I've rocked a large assortment of different <laughs> pants and I feel like some have worked and I can say with confidence some have not worked. So I'm, I'm excited to talk to you about the pants here. I mean, you, first off, 
you just have to avoid any kind of skinny fit mm. whatsoever because that is just going to be painted on. And even slim fit jeans are going to be your skinny jean version. Right. If you have any kind of butt or thigh or even calves, avoid slim fit. That's not what you want. Um, but you guys can wear any kind of, like you can wear jeans, chinos, wool trousers. Your pants should all fit the same. Mm -hmm. And what you want to look for is make sure your pants fit your booty area and your thighs first and foremost because booty and thighs. yeah everything else like the waist and the taper of the pant can all be adjusted gotcha. easily and inexpensively adjusted but when you have to start messing with the seat of your pants and the um, thighs it, that's where it can start to get really expensive or it's not even possible right. at all um, so, so invest in a good tailor is what we're kind of that's the common theme yeah. in this is like get to know your tailor get them to know your body type it's so important to make sure that your clothes fit appropriately. Yeah. I would say 95% of men out there do not fit off the rack yeah. at all. So it doesn't matter what your build is. For the most part, if you want to have a proper fit and to really show off your body in a positive way, then you need to invest in your tailoring. And tailoring can be very inexpensive if you know how to make sure your clothes fit in the right area. So all you have to do is just tweak the other little areas that are not going to cost you very right. much. Um, so with your pants, first and foremost, make sure it fits booty, your thighs. Um, if there's a little bit of puckering in the back, like I would say if it's under an inch, mm -hmm. it's just one of those things you guys got to deal with. I don't think there's a need to in have to... In the seat or in the waist? Or? So in the waist. Okay. So and the waist. So basically, you know where your belt, the yep. waistband is. If there's a little bit of puckering in the back, if it's not uh, like fitting gotcha. completely smooth, if it's less than an inch, you just throw on a belt, I always say, mm -hmm. but if it's more than that, then you want to have your tailor just nip in the waist a little bit. It's it's really easy and not expensive to do because he's not having to take in from the waist all the way down to the seat of your pants. So it's just a little quick nip in. Um, and then down from your knees to your ankle, that's the most important part. So mm -hmm. some people have really big calves, so you want to make sure. So like I said, first and foremost, it's really important to make sure the seat and the thigh area fits well. Everyone knows what snug feels like. Um, and if you feel like, oh, these might be right, take a seat and see, does it feel like it's gonna burst at the seam? Yeah. Does my thighs or my, the, the, the seam of the butt area feel like it's just gonna rip? That means it's too tight. Obviously, we, we know what loose feels like, but the goal is to be able to pinch no more than an inch of fabric on either side of your thigh. No That's more than an inch. No okay. more than an inch. So you want to do it right around there. That's a good, like I would say, a good uh, rule of thumb. I've definitely been at parties where I've been afraid to sit down in my suit because of that fact. And definitely off limit on the dance floor, which is just so sad because I love <laughs> dancing, as you guys know. So that's really good information. Yeah. Though. And then um, now we're going to go focus down onto the knees, uh, from knees down to the ankle, which is really important because some men have really muscular calves. So the goal is not to have the, the that calf area feel like it's painted on you. Like you don't want your jeans right. to look really skinny there. So you got to make sure it fits. So sometimes if you have really muscular thighs, I would say go with a straight leg because then it's from the knee down to the ankle. It's real, it's straight and it's roomier for you. But if your thighs are not like too crazy big, then usually you want to focus on a, um, a slim straight, which is like roomy in the thigh area, but then it tapers down to the ankle or even like a relaxed taper, which gives you even more room in the thigh area and then it tapers down. But the worst thing you could do is have a ton of fabric pooling around your ankle oh. Because then you just look really stocky. It's like just like the straight shape down from your waist to your ankle. Yeah. And that's not going to look good, especially when you're in shape. You want to have like almost like a, so you have your V shape up top. Now we need to complete the V down to the bottom. But the goal isn't to have super tight skinny jeans because then you have like this big old top and then skinny little legs. So it's, there's a balance to it. But I would say again for your calves area to be able to pinch about, I would say like at least half an inch, half an inch to an inch, and just have it go straight down from there, mm -hmm. the cut. So one thing I always kind of run into issues with big thighs. So I have to get, like you said, relaxed. Mm -hmm. But then I don't love all of the fabric that comes from the knee down sometimes. So I know with like my suits, I really like that, that tapered on, yep. the, on the calf section. Um, how do you know, is that, is that something that the tailor can do or is the pant cut kind of limit what you can do? No, there? so that's an easy thing. Always t taking the legs in, tapering mm -hmm. it more is very easy. Okay. So it's, 
you know, like if you have a favorite pair of pants that fit great in, mm -hmm. in, in your upper region, so your thighs and your butt area, your seat area, then have your tailor just taper it down for you. Okay. It's inexpensive, easy to do, and then that way you have a fit that complements your body. So I remember I had a, a favorite pair of boot cut jeans. Like they, so like it was these these jeans were just I love the way they fit. Pretty much, like you said, around the glutes, around my quads. Mm -hmm. But then they went out of style because boot cut, of course, went out of style. <laughs> so I, I threw them away, and to this day, I'm still like, oh, I kind of wish I would have taken them to the tailor. And you could have actually easily taken them to the tailor oh. and got them recut. But the four hundred dollars. There right. you go. Mm. Oh, a four hundred dollar boot cut jean. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> you really invested in that trend. I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, easy fix, guys. I'm telling you out there, find a tailor. Yelp is a great resource to find a qualified, highly rated tailor, and. This is how, what we just talked about is exactly how your clothes should fit and the, what you want to look for when you're trying on clothes. Um, a lot of times I think guys, especially they, they maybe, you know, they buy pants from a place that the pants are, you know, 80 bucks or even if they get them on sale, let's say 60 bucks, they might think spending the money to get them tailored isn't worth it because they didn't spend a ton of money on it. Is there, you know, is there any kind of if you love the item, should you only buy things that you're willing to tailor or should you, what's your kind of take on that? Like obviously things that, you know, if your people are wanting to get the most out of their money, so is it better off for them to buy something that's a little bit cheaper and have it tailored or if I should really only try to invest in custom pieces or pieces that, that, that cost more money? What do you kind of think on that? Okay, so I don't, I, I could see why a lot of men have this mentality. Yeah. Like I shouldn't have to tailor something unless I spent a lot of money on it. I think that's the wrong mentality to have because, for instance, with your t-shirts, right? So your t-shirts, for the most part, sometimes if you have a really big drop from your shoulders down to your waist, you're going to need to get them tailored. I do not recommend spending more than 20 bucks on a t-shirt. Uniqlo, H&M, even Armani Exchange, which maybe is like 20 or $22, mm -hmm. they all make really great shirts. Um, that are inexpensive, but yeah. you're still going to need to get it tailored. So it, I think it's we have to get out of this mindset of if it's inexpensive, if, if I got it on sale, if it's cheap, it's not worth, you know, getting it tailored. And, you know, like it, it does the job. It's all right. No, that's got to get out of that mentality gotcha. because if you love it, you bought it for a reason. It's because you love it. So now let's make sure that it's complementing your body frame. And again, I mean, you're not doing major alterations right. unless it's a suit usually. So it's not going to cost you very much. It's just a couple extra dollars. So just think about, okay, the savings. All right, I'm just eating into the savings a little bit, but for a big benefit, a big impact on how the final like piece is going to look on your body. I think there's going to be an increase in men's tailors being <laughs> employed here after this video. So. so fit is everything. I cannot stress that more. Like it doesn't matter how much you spend on the item. You need to get the right fit. It's the most important part of selecting whatever you're going to wear. So that's all. If, if there's one takeaway from this video, make sure the fit is 100% right. Fit is everything. <laughs> right in your notebook. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us, yeah. Ashley. Guys, Ashley, she has such amazing content on her channel. This was kind of an overview of kind of all things fit, pants, shirts, tops, everything. We're going to be doing some more videos on her channel that kind of delve into these points a little bit more and really knock them out of the park for you. So make sure you check out her page. We're linking it below.